I picked this stove up for about 150 bucks on Marketplace. It's a little rusty, but it's a solid stove and totally restorable. As a matter of fact, I got another stove, this one, for $80 on Marketplace and restored it. So why spend a ton of money if you don't have to? So I'm just going to pull the door off and paint it separately. Because for this, I think I'm going to paint the door black and the stove red. Now you could tape off the glass, and that would work just fine. But for this one, I figured I'd just take it out. It's easy to lose stuff like this, so might as well keep it etched. So this is going in the scrap bin. Personal preference, but it's not really restorable. I'm just going to vacuum this thing as clean as I can. It's the easiest time to do it, and it's nice not to have any of that dust blowing around while you're painting. Boy, the bottom of that door is pretty rusty. My orbital sander works all right for getting the surface rust off, but cast iron is kind of porous, so you can see there's still rust in those holes, little divots. For that, you need a wire wheel. I just use a wire wheel on my drill. Don't want to forget those hinge pins. They got to look nice too. Well, the orbital sander works all right, but it's going to be kind of slow at this speed. I'm going to switch to a grinder and I'm going to use a flapper disc. More junk. I thought about taking this spring handle off but I figure it might be really hard to get back on. I have the room nice and warm, but the metal's still pretty cold. And if you heat it up a little bit, you can see moisture coming right out of it. So I warm it up until the moisture comes out, and then I let it cool down to where it's not going to burn the paint, and it won't burn my hand, but it's still warm to the touch, then I paint it. I do the same thing with the stove, just make sure it's not too hot. So much. 
I'm going to paint the body of the stove red, and then I'm going to paint the legs and the back black. This stove is for my wife's cabin. I'm building her a little cabin to do crafts and stuff in. I've got a video up on it now. Anyways, she wanted a bright red color, and the only bright red I could find was in a 2000 degree automotive paint. I'll explain to you later whether that's a good idea or not. This gasket can be a little tricky. Just need to make sure that you've got it tucked in between the door and the glass. It looks pretty good without the green tape on it. Before it looked kind of like a Christmas stove. Ah, that's better. Well, you can see the 2000 degree automotive paint did not work and the reason it didn't work is because it has a multi-step curing process something that you pretty much can only do if you're able to put the painted part in an oven bring it to the required temperature and then cool it for the required amount of time so all in all do not use high temperature automotive paint now that i realize this stuff is really hard to use I think what I'm going to do is try to burn the rest of the paint off. Just get a really, really hot fire going. So you can see here, the paint actually got hot enough to flake off. Which is kind of good. I wish it would have done that everywhere. Oh yay, back to this step. I won't drag you through too much of this. So this is what I was using, a sanding disc. You can see the paint just fills it up, gums it right up. I got one of these, I had to take the guard off, but it says it's for paint and rust, so hopefully it'll take this paint off a lot better and not gum up so bad. I found that this disc did work much better. However, I wonder if maybe some strippers would be nicer. This dust is just really bad to have flying around, and I noticed when I used the acetone to clean the dust and oil, that it actually removed the paint that I couldn't get. Now I'm using specific paint for wood stoves. It seems to cover a lot better. The curing process is also a lot easier. You start a small fire, keep that small for about 10-15 minutes, add to it, keep it about a medium fire for an hour, and then get a hot fire going for another hour. And that's all you have to do. There's no heating and cooling in this hearing process. I actually like this color a lot more, and so does my wife, which is what really matters. Definitely start that first fire and do your curing outside if you can, because it's going to smell pretty bad. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned something, even if it's what not to do. See you next time.